Right, okay, you lot, today we're back with another subreddit video and I kind of continue that joke. Today we're going to be doing intelligence tests. I thought, why not? It could be fun. And I just spotted this out of the corner of my eye. I thought, why not? So, so I found this one which is, can we guess your highest education level? And so I'm in year 10 in secondary school, which equates to a ninth grade freshman in high school, apparently, in America. Let's see if it can guess that I am a high school freshman. Can we guess your highest education level? Uh, I've already gone through two or three questions to see how difficult it is. I think, I think it should be quite interesting. Let's play. So, uh, I've already gone through these, which Shakespeare tragedy does Ophelia appear and that would be Hamlet. Okay, the first world war ended 1918. Easy stuff, easy stuff. Now, H is hydrogen and H2O. Okay, capital of Kenya, Nairobi. Frogs belong to which of these animal groups? Amphibian. This is primary school stuff. I'm guessing it's going to get harder. The Soviet Union was a US enemy in World War II. Hmm. I actually have no idea. I'm just going to say true. Oh, okay. I probably annoyed quite a lot of people there. I'm sorry, people. What language has the most native speakers? That's Mandarin, Chinese, then English. I think Bangladesh is like seventh down the line. How many chambers are there in the human heart? That's... Four. Call Me Ishmael is the opening line of which American novel? Hmm. It's not with Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. Uh, never heard of the other two and Moby Dick as no. So, I'm gonna go with Moby Dick because... Hmm. Cool. Okay. So, these words are spoken by Ishmael, the protagonist. Okay, right. So, how many events are in a decathlon? That's quite easy. 10, because deck, Greek for 10. Moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Sorry if I pronounced those wrong. All orbit which planet? That's Jupiter, because I'm pretty sure the Sun and Mars don't have any moons. Not sure about Venus. Uh, Oh, no moons. Okay. So, the year 1707 is in which century? 18th, because it's the 18th century. What's the name of the supercontinent thought to have existed around 250 million years ago? That would be Pangaea. Yeah, that was when, like, before all the continents sort of floated away in the oceans. It was called Pangaea, the supercontinent. Right. What's cubism? Wish it was about Rubik's Cubes, but it's actually artistic style. Uh, choose the correct sentence, it and it. Oh, it gets me so mad when people use this wrong. Like, even in like really professional companies, when they use it's wrong, it just gets me so mad. Uh, it's tragic, it's shit. It's tragic in its absurdity. That's, that's the right one. In music, which term from happy means you should play a piece of quick tempo? Allegro. That's the only thing that year seven music was useful for. Genetic science was pioneered by Austrian monk Gregor Mendel, which study which of these organisms? That is. Not humans, I think. Oh, pea plants, because he's the one that made those Punnett squares, right? The genetic diagrams. Um, yeah, genetic inheritance, okay. So, what does the word binary mean? That is consisting of two parts, ones and zeros. Cool. In Roman numerals, what does IX represent? That's nine. And you've got Mars, often described as a red planet. What element is mixed with oxygen? Iron. Actually, iron oxide is a substance which makes your blood red as well. Fun fact, there for you even though you probably don't care. Roman Emperor became famous after his death for allegedly making his horse a Roman consul. This is in Horrible Histories, Caligula. Remember that. Can't remember what his horse was called, but I know that he made him a Roman consul. Who's credited with inventing the first successful printing press? Johannes Gutenberg in 15 or 16 whatever. In poetry, what metrical foot consists of one unstressed followed by one stressed syllable and is the foot most commonly found in Shakespeare's play? That's an I am for iambic pentameter. Around how old is the earth? That is 4.5 billion years. Right, okay. These all seem pretty easy so far, like primary school, maybe early secondary school knowledge, so Let's continue. The second law of thermodynamics. Ooh, this is good. I like thermodynamics. Okay. So, entropy, acceleration, gravity, and physics. Well, physics is in circles the entire uh, subject. So, second law of thermodynamics. What was it again? Don't think it was to do with gravity. Think it was entropy. Not sure. Oh, okay. Remind us what it is. Entropy is always increasing, yeah, whatever that means. It's really confusing. Quantum mechanics is just confusing in general. Uh, who wrote the famous book called The Elements and what was it about? That was Euclid on Geometry. Remember that from uh, something, something a while ago, I don't know. The image above is a Trojan horse. Which Greek hero masterminded it? According to the legend, that was Odysseus, I believe. Yeah. Which Supreme Court decision ended segregation in US public schools? Um... Well, because this is actually saying the Board of Education, that's a pretty big giveaway, so there we go. That was quite obvious. 
child could get that. Science E equals MT squared, that's Einstein, of course, everyone knows that. Art of work is shown in the image above. Oh, that's um, King Harold getting shot in the eye, 1066, Battle of Hastings, that's B or Tapestry. Right, what's the meaning of the word hegemony? I have no idea. Um, eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a teacher by his toe, if he schools, let him go, eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Topiary, the art of shaping of garden foliage. No, nope, it was dominance or power. Which country suffered the greatest number of military deaths in World War II? Um, I'm gonna guess Germany, because Britain... W oh, okay. It oh, Soviet Union. So's Luke. Me mate Luke was probably not gonna talk to us for a year now. Which European language is this? Avance le sans Paris, le triomphe sans gloire. That's... That's French. Sorry, my pronunciation was the worst ever. To win without risking. Oh, okay. Which gas is most prevalent in the Earth's atmosphere? That's nitrogen. If it was methane, it would all die. Entomology is the study of. I know orthology or orthonology is the study of birds. One of the two, same thing. I'm just gonna. So it's not birds. I'm just gonna guess lizards. Oh, let's see what it was. Insects. Prefix philo means. Philosophy, nah. A f love, science, art. I'm guessing science. No, not science. Let's see what it was. It was love, okay. What's a pronoun where that stands in for now? What was the birth name of brilliant 19th century novelist George Eliot? Oh, I know this. It's Mary Ann Evans because at that time, women were like looked at as a very low social class, so they had to change their pen names to male author names so that they could get their books recognised. Um, very sexist at the time. Mary Ann Evans, there we go. What green coloured substance uh, is chlorophyll? Okay, biology year eight. So what's a control group, a uh, group that's left in its usual state? What was the name of the national state in 1920s Germany? Oh God, I'm gonna get murdered by Luca if I don't know this. Uh, League of Nations, no, sounds a bit cheesy. The DRR, not the DDR, sorry. Third Reich, Weimar Republic. I think the Third Reich was after World War Two, was it? I don't know, I'm, I'm not gonna comment, just any mini mini mod to the Third Reich. It's, yeah, I knew it wasn't the Third Reich. What was it? The Weimar Republic. Sals Luke, please don't murder us. Is water a chemical compound? Yes, H2O, covalent bond. Thank you very much. Robespierre played a major role in which historical event? Well, judging by the picture and the fact that it's in Paris, I'm gonna guess the French Revolution. Oh, okay. Gave it away with a picture there. Who does Romeo say he's in love with in the start of Romeo and Juliet? It's Rosaline, who he forgets after like two seconds. What famous concept did Darwin come up with? Natural selection. Which country was once known as Rhodesia, named after the British mining magnate Cecil Rhodes? Ooh, dear, now this, like, Rhodesia. I've heard of it, but I don't know what it's called now. So, I'm gonna guess Tibet. Oh, what was it? Zimbabwe. Oh, okay. Speed is defined as distance divided by time. Yeah, mass multiplied by acceleration is false. Newton's second law, F equals MA, right. What is Chaucer famous for writing? Uh, don't know what that is, so I'm gonna guess Canterbury Tales. Oh, okay. Karl Marx is thought of an influential... Oh, he created Marxism, which is a kind of socialism, I think. So he was a socialist, not an uh, economist. There we go. Uh, what did humans invent first? Cattle breeding or writing in sentences? I think writing in sentences came around Egyptian times when they developed papyrus to write stuff. Cattle breeding has been around since domestication began in the Stone Age, so I'm gonna guess... Yeah, over 10,000 years ago. Cool. What's the name of the result you get when you add together four numbers and divide the sum by four? An average. What's the second book of the Bible? Right, it's Genesis first. And I'm pretty sure it's Exodus, the one where Moses freed the Israelites and everything like that, part of the Red Sea. If you call someone a Luddite, what does that mean? They're opposed to new technology, as lots of people were in the Industrial Revolution, something to 1870. What's the next word in the first sentence of the US Constitution? We are people of the United States in order to form a more perfect... Um, don't know, I'm not American. Uh, this quiz is American, so... Uh, union. Oh, cool. Which queen ruled England during Shakespeare's lifetime? Queen Elizabeth I. She actually really liked Shakespeare's plays. Which travels faster, light or sound? That's light by far. Light is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second. And sound is about 3 times 10 to the power of 5, something like that. On which continent is the Kalahari Desert? Kalahari sounds... Well, I, I don't know myself, so I'm gonna guess it sounds African. There we go. Most deserts are in Africa because it's right on the equator. Who painted the screen pictured? Um, the only person I know here is Picasso, not who Edvard Munch is, but it doesn't look like Picasso's style. So I'm gonna guess Edvard Munch. Yeah, 
don't know who he is, but it wasn't Picasso. When did the Spanish Civil War end? Oh, I don't know anything about Spanish history. Mmm, guess in 1919. Oh, okay. Which of these is a palindrome? Okay, so the palindrome can be spelled forwards or backwards to mean the same thing. Palindrome, Panama, race, oh, race car, that's it. R-A-C-E-C-A-R, R-A-C-E-C-A-R. The Lord is my shepherd is a metaphor. The Lord is like my shepherd would be a simile. What are the first three words of the Bible? Oh, I want to say in the beginning because Genesis is how the world was created. In the beginning, I'm going to say. That's a good strong opening. There we go. Yep. Shakespeare has plays. And what Shakespeare played are the words to be or not to be appear. Oh, Hamlet, one of the most famous in the world. Who wrote the novel A Passage to India? No clue, but I'm going to guess Ernest Hemingway because wasn't he an adventurer? No, he wasn't. Uh, it was E.M. Forster. I never heard of him. Finish your title. Walden. No idea. Life on the Iron Mills, Back in the Chain Gang, Life on the Mississippi, Life in the Woods. I don't know why, but Life on the Mississippi kind of rings a bell. I don't know why, I just recognise it. So, hope to God. Nope, nope, making it up in my head. How many wives did Henry VIII, sorry? There's six. Divorced, beheaded and died. Divorced, beheaded, survived. What is the antebellum era of American history? I'm going to say a period after Civil War. Nope. Got that wrong as well. Who lived at 221B Baker Street? My boy Sherlock Holmes. I love Sherlock Holmes. It's class. What does Pablo Picasso's painting Guernica represent? Is that the painting there? That looks more like a load of animals to me. So what? Bombing of a Spanish village. Why the hell is there a cow in the corner there? Which element leaves yellow deposit where it's found in the landscape and is called brimstone in the Bible? Yellow. I'm going to say sulfur because isn't sulfur yellow? Yeah, there we go. How many stomachs does a cow have? Surely it'd be one, right? Hmm. Four, because I think one is just trying to be like, oh, one's obvious, it's definitely one. Ah, oh, cows have four stomachs, never knew. The subatomic particle with negative charge is called an electron. The study of human societies and social problems is called sociology, I'm guessing, because social, sociology, same root word, yeah. Who invented the first vaccine? Edward Jenner. Jenner, isn't that... Oh, I'm thinking of Caitlyn Jenner. Don't know who any of them are, so I'm just going to say Edward Jenner. Oh, cool. What's the square root of 81? Nine. You're joking me. That's primary school level. What was the, word, what was the Latin phrase, e pluribus unum, mean? Uh, not in God we trust. It's definitely out of many, one. In grammar, combining two words by removing some letters and replacing them with an apostrophe. Here, contraction. That's correct, like don't, won't, couldn't, shouldn't. Who was the first American woman in outer space? Amelia Earhart, wasn't she the first woman to fly a plane to like the North Pole or something? Sally Ride, I'm guessing, yeah. Which weighs more? A pound of iron, a pound of dirt, a pound of, well, they're all a pound. I've seen this in a riddle before. They all weigh the same, they're all a pound. Who's credited with inventing the US Postal Service? Never heard of Alexander Hamilton, so I'm just gonna say Benjamin Franklin. Correct. Your score, 85%. I have a PhD, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I now have a PhD. You now have to tell me better at According to this website, I have a PhD. Thank you very much. Well, then, absolutely now, apart from the fact that quizzes are absolute bull and you shouldn't do them because you'll get very incorrect results. So, yeah, that was what we learned today. That was very informative and interesting. Probably not, you're probably asleep. But if you've made it all the way throughout, well done. Subscribe or like or whatever you want to do, and I'll see you all in the next video.